Hey guys, it's bringing you another do-it-yourself key video today. I'm working on an HP Spectre 360 keyboard here. I'm going to show you how to remove a key safely without damaging it, and then how to install it uh, back safely without damaging it. Uh, you may already know this, but the reason why we're doing a key and not the entire keyboard is because inside your computer, uh, you'll see this keyboard is not screwed on. It's held on by plastic rivets uh, that break when you take it off and there's really no way to secure properly the next keyboard you install. So that's why uh, the majority of the, of the time I recommend uh, fixing your keys individually as they break or fall off versus the entire keyboard. So if you can't find any loose keys for sale online, uh, consider buying an entire used keyboard and then just taking them off using it as parts. Uh, so to start with, I'm gonna take my flathead screwdriver and let me zoom in here for you so you can see what we're gonna be doing and what it looks like. So I'm gonna to try to put my screwdriver underneath the key cap, which is this top part. Uh, and I'm gonna to try to put it on top of the retainer clip underneath so that I can hold it down while I take the key cap off. So I'm gonna to try to get it in between both. So go slow, feel your way out, and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Okay, so that came off fairly easily. And as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down this clip. Uh, most clips are going to look somewhat like this. You're going to have the rubber spring in the center that pushes the cap back up after it's been pressed. Uh, take care not to um, rip that up. That's held on by glue and it's very hard to get back down uh, once you rip it up. And then you have your plastic retainer clip. It's made up of two parts that are held together in the center by very thin, fragile plastic pins. Uh, again, try not to break that. If you break one of those pins, they won't fit together properly. And these clips are held down in generally the same way with all models. Uh, they, they usually have either four metal pins near all four corners, or like in our case, they have two metal pins near two corners and then one metal bracket in, in, in the center of the opposite side, uh, giving us a, to a total of three. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna look for the metal pins uh, uh, closest to the edge, which would be these top ones. And then again, if you have, like in my case, one metal clip in the center of one side, then you're gonna automatically go for the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press up with my thumbnail, try to get as much give as I can, while slowly and gently prying out the plastic from underneath that metal uh, to get it loose. This is very, um, very fragile. This most likely will be where you break it. So once I get it out, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you what we were trying not to break. So I'll push up as much as I can. Pull up. There we go. So that came up fairly easily. Let me show you what that looks like here. So I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but there's little tiny pins that are poking out here and here. Very little, very thin plastic, very easily breakable, and that's what was fitted underneath those metal pins. So that's what I was trying to wedge out from under it, as opposed to just snapping it up and snapping those right off. If you do, um, then it won't sit in there correctly and your key won't be secure. It'll probably just keep falling off. Uh, so now to put it back in, I'm gonna put the bottom down first, get that center part under its pin first, and if you have a keyboard where you have two metal pins on the opposite side, you would get that bottom part in first, get those on under there. And once it looks centered and it looks like it's in the right spot, you, sh you should be able to just press in the top corners and snap them into place. Just like that. And then you take your key cap, same thing, you center that and then press it into place. And it snaps in. So that's how you would replace a uh, normal size key for an HP Spectre 360. If you want to know how to do a larger key for HP, uh, one of these enter shift space keys, it's obviously going to look a little different underneath. Um, so check out the video link in the description on how to do a, a larger key. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them below. I get back to you a couple times a day. Uh, like and share if it was helpful. And uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.